Roy Jones is the favorite, of course. I don't want my zero to go any more than he wants his. I wonder if there was anything that he can't do. I want Before making final judgment. Well, this is about a tougher guy. Designs the robe. He makes up the logo. He's won 34 fights. Light heavyweight championship of the world. He weighs 175 pounds. Ice Griffin. Jones Jr. You already got the instructions in the dressing room. Sometimes. Check hands. Good luck to both of you. Punches. Round one begins. Ropes to get a look at what Griffin's got. Griffin with a hard right hand. Hard right hand by... Punch, hit him flush, nothing happened. And again, Griffith is carrying that left hand very, very low. It's been Griffin's forte. Anytime he gets in an exchange, can be... Eat <laughs> to come inside in and faint. Right. She fainted. She fainted. Right. Number one, as he took most of the round to try to feel out. He's not committing himself with that jab. Way. <laughs> to try to really snap that left jab in there and score some points with. Well, I think it's safe to say that these two fighters don't respect each other. A lot of fainting, a lot of fainting. Not too much. Roy Jones had his phone shut off and told his trainer against the Jones right. Quick left hook. The jab working good. Yes, keep working. Yes, keep working. This has been a tactical fight. There hasn't been a significant light heavyweight fight. Griffin's corner. I noticed they were massaging his arms after the first. It wouldn't shock me if somewhere in the house there's a scorecard that's going to do Griffin any good later on. Griffin's people said Jones doesn't like. He has ice in his veins. As you mentioned, he's not even coming close with the left jab. He put, who trained two different fighters to do that, Gil. He can't stay back at this distance. Well, Griffin is giving Jones problems. Again, the significant punch landed in this round. Commit to the jab because he is so defensive. Montel Griffin, he's liable to watch his zero go away. So something will about Roy Jones's right hand. Yeah, and also uh, anytime that Griffin showing the jab to Griffin, but then throw good side. Aging fighter. But his critics, those who aren't over. 20 seconds left in round four and no sign. When he gets the guy on the ropes, he's hustling and scoring points. That's exactly. Breaks Jones to the body again as round four. As long as he lay back like that, just touch him with Mama. some jabs, man. Mama. Just touch his ball. Opening tease. I've been playing with my bag of tricks. Montel with a right hand that made me go out. But after that, Montel's driving. Well, stepping in. Punching with the right hand, but he's not there to be hit that easy. Not letting anything happen. But you know, both of these fighters. Down. Which isn't out of the realm of possibility here. Left by Roy Jones. And a good counter by Griffin. Good left. Hoping for something more. He started to raise his arms. A little bit now. You're going to be able to hit this turkey in a minute. Ooh, he got my head, sir. This was wrong. Griffin will see six. It's scoring points for Griffin. Good left hook by Jones. Attention now. Got nailed with some pretty solid shots. Good. Jones is going to have to get a little joy. Years old. Not too many though have seen all the tricks of and more and more frequently to take advantage of Griffin's low left. Throughout the early rounds, Jones backing up into the he's not reaching Griffin, but he's jumping back when he throws simulations of punches for Jones to knock people out. He's not and talking to Larry Merchant as he tries to work again. Stepping back into that cautious stance that dominated his early. There's where he should be throwing out. His white trunks with black trim. And there's a knockdown. He calls it a knockdown. He was off balance. He wasn't hurt by the punch. That's for sure. He wasn't. Stay out of this corner. It's real wet over here, Roy. Clean, short, little left hook on the inside. He leaned back. See the 
damp spot in Jones's corner where champions are supposed to do. Timekeeper can't get his stopwatch to work. Round in the seventh. Jim, you had to. You had to go along with referee Tony Perez, but let me. So I'm in, in line with you, Larry. I have it four rounds to three Griffin. About his career. Montel Griffin has Roy Jones thoroughly. Also, Montel Griffin moved Jones. With Clearly underestimated Montel Griffin in their first fight. Roy Jones' is left eye, and indeed that's true. There's a the task as he tries to focus on that target. That's where Montel Griffin scores his points. Yep. When Jones the punch. Watch that stairs the shoulder. It was like with a full punch that numbers through eight rounds tell a ten power shots, many of them to the body. How much does Roy Jones blank cap pistol? Bell has done so much of his damage. There it is. Jones goes to sound like much when a fighter moves up from, say, 168 pounds. The finish. Griffin wobbling a little bit. Jones comes in. Griffin's knee goes down, and Jones lands two punches after Griffin. A knockdown and a knockout, or so it appeared from here. That's why Jones was a little bit mystified. Absolutely, he found that Griffin seemed to be down on one knee, and Jones. is coming. Oh, there's no question. Get at it. And here's the last plenty of one, time. Two. two. The second left hook has all the time in the world. He's looking at the guy while he's down. Now, eyes, Griffin! And then went down on his face, and he stayed there as yes, for his but Here comes. I didn't know if he come back at me or not. So I bounced back. I hooked him again. I don't know if he's going down, if he's slipping, or coming back at me or not. I can't stop. If I stop, so I don't want to hit him, but the referee got to stop me, you know? I don't know what happened, and the referee ain't stop me. A lot that you didn't, you weren't sure that he was I, knocked down? I didn't know if he said the frustration. I was even because I want a good, excited knockout. I want to get me a knockout, you know what I'm saying? Hey.